Yo guys, this is Ryan Cards, a Russian talking, and I hit Duelist shit rating on my DK, finally, and about 2000 rating on a couple other tunes. I'm not focusing too much into perfection of my gameplay right now, as much as I'm focusing on understanding the gameplay and the flow itself. From my feeling right now, what this is, is somewhere in between the Cataclysm, where you have to just train one target down the ground, and Mr. Pandaria, which is a very fast-paced switch, switch, switch kind of a uh, gameplay. Also, DPS rotation got so much easier. In fact, Unholy Decades counts one of the harder ones comparatively to my Warrior or Red Paladin, but even then, it's just so much easier in comparison to Mr. Pandaria, where I don't have to convert my runes and I have to prioritize my damage dealing here it's much simple you have runic power death call you don't have a runic power festering wound slash score strike is your best buddy in with exception when you get rotten touch prox so with that said is let's jump into some solo queue matches and I'm gonna be releasing guides very very soon and I'm also gonna be releasing a whole lot of nerd analysis towards the next patch First thing that I noticed when it comes to climbing in a solo queue as a DK, you have to goddamn train the healer. You have to get on his ass and you have to train him and train him and train him more. So I'm popping all of my AOE abilities here to kind of start cleaving and I noticed that one of the monks is getting low. My DH damage is also sinking in. My AOE grabby hands are also pulling people. Now it's a good time to pop a few defiles and just cleave the crap out of people. I got a focus freeze on the healer and all of a sudden right now life is good. I grip the healer into the double blind but for some reason my demon hunter decides to just train the warrior. Now we got a clone on the warrior and was trying to DPS onto the Windwalker Monk as well and I got feared, I popped the Lichborn instantly and there is a Cocoon right there. So now here's what I'm doing, the Cocoon is down, the biggest cooldown and I have Sudden Dutch Doom with a Rotten Touch proc. Guess what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pop the Death Call into him, I'm gonna IBF the stun and I'm just gonna wail onto this Monk a lot, just, just make his life as miserable as possible with a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to control here, peel a little bit from my Druid, pop a Death and Decay onto the ground that also snares 90% and we're gonna get a finishing up on the monk itself. Now the fact is going onto the enemy healer will not necessarily land you a kill right away but the fact that the healer has to line aside his DPS and line aside you almost at the same time kite around it wastes those pressure globals that enables your other DPS if he does good damage to actually start he have his damage sinking in. It's all about just effective damage at this point. Now, I got the focus grip into a double blind and we're gonna go on this DH. Now, the fact of, of the matter is a lot of people think that DHs are just like unkillable people, but me playing DH at about 2k MMR myself, I'm gonna tell you this, DHs can die and they can die very, very fast. Here again, I have nothing to hit, the monk is next to me, I had a sudden dune proc, I'm gonna swap onto him really quickly. Now, he did actually fake cast my, uh, that song of Chi, really quickly but the fact that she had to spend a uh, paralyze on me and not the healer is also a big big plus now granted we're they're tunneling our healer for whatever reasons is like rest of druids are very good as a kind of a hard targets to swap but they're very good to swap onto the targets they're not very good at actually just 100% training them because once they have their hearts rolling on them they can actually live through stuns and through silences the fact of the matter is when you get on a druid and he has to spend a few globals just to simply kind of pre-hot himself and hot himself and he's down to 50% HP, that's the kill window against the rest of droids. It's not actually the kill window where you're just gonna train them 100% to zero. Hence why we're doing good, we're always top tough and while this is probably one of the most annoying parts of actually playing DK, it's the fact of the matter that you kind of have a, a bit of a lacking and mobility and just shooting a dry score strikes is also not gonna work and you can get just CC'd quite a bit and you also are susceptible to both silence and a disarm at the same time. However, with that said is I'm gonna pop a defile and we have some very very clu good cliff here going. And by the way, when the two melee stuck like that, death scrolling is one of the best tickets to actually do just, just massive massive amounts of damage. And the thing is guys, if you know your DPS rotation, if you actually can do very very good damage, even without a good utility, you can actually push to 2k rating easily in this game right now. But you need to mongoloid the fuck out of your damage. Do make sure that you're kind of uh, doing this mystic rating damage level shit. 
Anyway, my friends, remember to stay in school for the class that actually works the shit. Remember to do math, not meth. For you, anybody who is wondering how I went, uh, performed for the next three games, I kind of bummed it. I went 0 and 3. But with that said, guys, I feel like I actually have a very good and decent understanding of the meta to start producing guides. So the frequency of the videos might just die down a little bit in the favor of producing more guides. As always, guys, I love you to death and we'll see some cool shit very soon. Bye.